Hi, my name is Olha Onishenko. Some of you might know me as a project manager <laughs> uh, or as a dancer because I've been posting a lot of dancing stuff on my YouTube page. But right now I decided to make this video for people who want to move to Vancouver or who are in Vancouver already and they don't know what to do and where to start if they want to become an actor. I got an agent three weeks ago or yeah like one month ago and I started acting like really acting like professionally training and you know applying to different jobs like roles a year ago. I'll tell you what my steps were and uh, what do I think you should do to first be recognizable here and second how to get an agent. So first step and uh, that I've done and I think it's very important you need connections you are new in the city or maybe even in the country you've never been here before so you don't have any connections here so the first thing you have to understand that you need to build the network when I came to Vancouver I uh, again I was working as a project manager I was searching for a job as a project manager but I also I'm a creative person I loved to dance always I've never acted before I just didn't think it's my thing I don't know I just maybe nobody in my family have done this I've done some acting like in school but it was like you know just like school stuff uh, I was singing mostly and acting was like a side to it when I came to Vancouver, I've seen a lot of people dancing outside um, in Vancouver and I was like, oh my god, I have to come back. And I just felt that inspiration that I have to come back to dancing again and I, I started to dance a lot. Hey, used to have a silver tube and I was just a pup, yeah. That's a killer, that shot, Doesn't anyone dance in this town no more? Why am I the only one on the dance floor? And I've seen that, first of all, Vancouver is one of the best cities to learn acting skills and I've seen that a lot of dancers they are doing acting and uh, also there are so many dance opportunities in movies where you can dance and also act at the same time and I'm like I have to learn how to act because this is like help to my main hobby dancing acting was always not the main thing for me so I was like okay I'll just try some acting classes and I found Vancouver Acting School classes that were like uh, part-time classes every week for three hours and my first class was with Beverly Elliott Fundamentals. I started doing that in April and I think we finished in like June so it's like three months approximately. Uh, I can tell you how much they spend. Uh, I spend it's like $260 a month so it's like three months so so three months it's like 700. I dream about flying, not really flying, more like floating. Like it starts out really fast. I'm sorry, can I try again? No, you were so in it! It's good, it's good! And I really enjoyed it. I was inspired and I also, I already applied um, a lot to some dance teams, some jobs that is related to dancing and acting at the same time but again not acting yet we talked about everything that you want to know about like agent in the class and i remember how beverly said you have to build your skills first and your character and how you see yourself in acting and and then it's better like to be professional like more professional than now and then try to find an agency and i'm like okay i have to know more and um, yeah, I was pursuing dancing, continuing doing that. And then I saw some Instagram page. I think they liked me and followed me. And I'm like, oh, I, I, it seems like it's a, an agent. But then I uh, found out that it was a manager. So manager is a little bit different. And also manager is not very common in Canada. It's more like LA, uh, American stuff. So like in the US manager is more as a thing here the agent is much more valuable than a manager. So I signed a contract with him and he applied for me, but he didn't like change my resume. He didn't tell me what to do in my self tapes. Like I, I, I could ask him like, what do you think, which take do you think is better? But he 
he didn't really like give me a lot of feedback. He just told me maybe to update the headshots, and this is what I what I did in in a few months after that manager. Uh, I would say he started to send me voiceovers and auditions. I was like, whoa, well, I get I get not a lot, but like. I get something and people it means that people like me and the footage that I sent them was from my fundamental class with Beverly Elliott so because we had some footage in the class we make we made videos uh, with the scripts and scenes that we learned and then I just used it to send to the manager and then the manager sent it to different roles that were posted online I am sure your question will be what do you have to send to be recognized first the headshot and also it's very important to have different um, different personalities of your character you know what I mean so like one headshot if you are applying for commercials the headshot should be where you smile like with your with like full smile with your teeth because commercials are most of the time when when you sell something so you have to be able to smile very well the um, second headshot has to be again you choose but most of the time, for example, if uh, you realize that your vibe is more like about confident characters, strong characters, so it should be some headshots that show that strongness and like that confidence. So for example, I don't know, like a policeman or detective or something like that. So you should have a headshot for this purpose. If it's opposite, if you are like, I'm a girly girly and I'm the best friend or like I'm a mother, I'm a sister, I'm a daughter and I'm very kind. So you should have a headshot that match that personality. Then the casting director, he will just take your headshot to the role that they have and they will just match it together. If the role is about, I don't know, some confident beachy girl and you will send your kind headshot, of course it might not work. I would say it will not work. So the headshot has to match the character. This is the first rule. I suggest if you are new like if you just start in your acting career to apply everywhere you think you are a great fit in terms of the age and uh, that's it I recommend to apply everywhere if you're new in the industry so you are you know your face it will pop up in the systems of casting directors they will remember you and you know it's better to do it more frequently at the very beginning every time I had an opportunity to speak with someone who has an agent. I asked, what kind of websites do you use to apply? How did you find, like for example, if I have a friend who found an opportunity, I ask them, where did you get this opportunity? Is it from the agent or you found it on your own? So try to dig deeper and like find that layers to every single person and every single connection you have. So my first role. I was uh, in Sunanda Sharma music video. I was an, as a dancer there and they hired, I don't know, around like 12 dancers and I was one of them. And at the end of it, they're like, oh, can you stay? I'm like, okay. So they asked me like to sit in the car and to be like a girlfriend of one of the actors there. So this was kind of my first acting role and I didn't even expect that. I was like, wow, okay, they asked me to stay from all 12 dancers who were there. So it means I'm good in camera. After the manager uh, started to send me auditions, I, uh, I didn't have any equipment at home. So I asked my friend to help me at the very beginning. She had like a blue background. I needed that letter. I know, but you said... All you do all day is sit at your desk and daydream while I go to work. Oh my goodness, what happened? You're very, very late. I'm so sorry. I was at the insurance broker's office. And I bought the stand like, like this, but it was different. It was smaller. I just tried to do self-tapes as like... In, in, the, in the circumstances I was at that period of time, 2023 I got a manager in September like at the end of September I think or in October I started to get self tapes from him plus I was in the dance team competitive dance team we were training a lot <laughs> five six seven eight all day every day two four seven twice a week uh, for like three hours and it was always at night. Uh, I was so tired at the end of the year and I decided to drop the 
the competitive team where I was at. I was in 247. In September, I started to do an action class with Dan Ginein, Ginein, I'm not sure, but he has an action school in Vancouver and I've seen uh, some dancers who were doing this and I'm like, oh, okay. And it's like acting plus choreography that you do in movies. And on my um, acting class with Beverly Elliott, she told me, like, we had some exercise and they told me that my face would look really cool in the action movie, like a girlfriend of James Bond or something. And I'm like, okay, so I found the action class. I've done a program there, I really enjoyed it, it was so fun. We trained uh, every weekend for four hours, so two hours Saturday, two hours Sunday. And then at the end of the month, we were doing a professional action reel with uh, also some acting stuff in there. So it's like a scene to the movie. I'm telling you, give me the drive right now. So like there are two agents, we're talking and then we start fighting over like USB. And then at the end, I was killing another agent. It was really fun. It was my first really like big acting experience. And also it was a little bit of improvisation in the scene because every time when we shot, the, the script was different. We were just improvising with my partner, Frankie. Hi Frankie, if you're watching this. Yeah, it was an amazing experience. I've met a lot of people again. So, so yes, I spent some money on this. For the action reel, it was $900. I realized that it's like a lot of money, but I've seen the director who is supposed to film us at the end and I'm like, oh my God, it looks so cool. I have to do that. I'm, I'm so happy I have it because this was my reel that I can share as well for like the roles, like detectives, policemen, some action thrillers, you know what I mean? Like for roles where I'm like confident and sassy. The footage, it was really great. Like it looks amazing. Hand it the drive now. Okay. Hand it the fucking drive. <laughs> So that was like my second shoot, but I paid for it. So I wasn't like hired, you know what I mean? And then September, October, November, in December, I got an invitation for the commercial Easy Iron. That was my first commercial ever. And the team was really professional. Like I felt that they value how I feel and uh, I loved how they talked with me. Like everything was really great. And the commercial looks really great. Like this is, like the best commercial at, the, at this time. Like I, I didn't receive all of them yet, but like this, this was really, really good experience. I enjoy working when I want. And with Easy Iron, I can do just that. I make money my own way, on my own schedule, anytime I feel like it. And after the first commercial, like you update your resume, of course, every time you have a commercial, you update your resume. And after you update your resume, if you already have one commercial, as I see by my experience, the second, the third, the fourth, they will just come to you because you already had an experience. The same happens with voiceovers. I just figured it out because I've done some voiceovers. I didn't get anything yet, but I've heard that if you get at least one voiceover, then they will hire you. It's like a wave, you know, like a roller coaster. Right after that, I got another commercial, Miss Continent. It was a mobile game and it was, I think I had like almost two commercials in a row, like one on Thursday and second maybe on Saturday. So I've got like two almost at once. It was also pretty fun. Uh, mobile game for Chinese market, it's just funny. Like I will add it here. I didn't post it anywhere, but it's like so hilarious how it looks like. Who are we? Missy Continent. Honey, honey, come down, come down. Don't stop me. I spent thousands of dollars on the stupid game and I got no legendary heroes and no resources. I already have two commercial experience. I don't have any movies yet, but I have an action reel. I have the acting reel from my action classes. And also a little bit later when I've done some auditions already, I edited my acting video and I, you know, I started to add something from the auditions where I, I really liked how I played. Also in fall, I was doing the audition techniques with David Lewis in Vancouver Acting School. And this is what really helped me as well to understand how the audition feels like. What do you have to do? What questions do you have to ask to yourself and to your character and to the partner? And uh, after that, I decided, okay, I already know a lot. 
I have a manager for now. I have a lot of auditions. I already have two commercials. Then my big like milestone was when I received an audition in Ryan Reynolds movie. I don't know if I can say the name, but it was my first audition in a really like real big movie. With my husband, uh, we were on vacation, like it was like a month vacation. And uh, my manager, he's like, uh, I know that you're on vacation, but do you want to do that? This is like the biggest audition you've ever gotten. I'm like, of course I will. I asked Beverly to coach me and uh, to help me to record it. And we were doing it on Zoom. I didn't receive a call back yet. Maybe, I don't know, I will, maybe not. The point is that I got the audition. This is already a milestone. Like but when you have a big movie with Ryan Reynolds, it's like, wow, that's cool. Then I received a Disney voiceover from my manager as well, and I recorded it. This was the second milestone for this, for like, I think the three weeks. And I was like, wow, okay, that's great. The competition is like huge. So you can't really be, you can't be sure that you will be the one. The, the best thing is to make the audition, to record it, and then like, drop it just don't think about it or if you really want it you can just like oh it's so great i'm in that movie wow that's amazing okay i'm back in different lightning and um yeah just my memory card dropped uh i didn't have enough memory so yeah i received that audition and then i came back to vancouver after the vacation and i'm like okay I'm ready and uh, my manager started to send me a lot of auditions like I'm doing self tapes I didn't have any background I have I had only this one like just gray background and this is also my friend she couldn't help me anymore because she had a lot of work to do and she was the one who had a blue background and I didn't have it so I'm like okay I'll use the gray one and, but I've heard a lot of a lot of feedbacks from different actors from teachers that the blue background is the best that you can use for the self tapes because everyone looks amazing on the blue background like just just the note usually people who were losers in school drown in their supposed trauma and they can't grow up now we are doing a self tape hello hello phoenix okay maybe it's for a reason life has no reasons you either take what you need or you get stuck in the same place i don't think that how it works I think you might have some consequences sooner or later. And this is when I bought my new background and I just bought it like three weeks ago. So the background that I use, this is how it looks like. I open it. From this circle, it becomes, I don't want to break anything. It becomes this one. Woo! I put it here, like this. Yeah. So this is what I do. And then I take this one. So this is how it works. I don't know if you can see that, but it has different colors and different brightness. You see? Yeah, so it's pretty good. So yeah, this is the background that I use. Uh, for my self tapes now and it really looks much better <laughs> and I bought it right after I got an agent because I'm like I have an agent now so it should be perfect for him for me for everyone for casting directors <laughs> I also was invited in the student movie wave it was a student movie but I didn't have a script I was just like waving I was just an actor and it was amazing experience you know i they did a makeup for me and it's just like when you're on set it's just such a, an amazing feeling when like everybody's doing something and you're part of something big um but i didn't have any script and i'm like mm, i need to get a role with the script because like it's great that i i'm a, i have like dancing sh shots i have action reel but still it's not like a project this is what i paid for but it's not like a real project i sent my self tapes all the time not only to the self tapes that my manager required i was sending applications every single day the websites that i was checking were vancouver acting guide I was checking backstage a year ago, but I don't think they are posting anything right now about Vancouver, like it's very rare. Also, I'm checking all castings. My manager is using casting networks, casting workbook and actors access. These are the best ones to find the opportunities. Sometimes I see the castings in Instagram from casting directors 
or just from people that I know or from actors, you know, it's just, again, networking. So you follow each other, you know each other. Sometimes you get an invitation like, hey, do you want to apply to that role? Because I know you, you've done a great work at that project. So why don't you try this one? And this is how connections start to build on each other. And then, thanks God, I think it was in January, I got my first role in the student movie, but it was a lead role. And I was so excited. It, it wasn't paid, it was a volunteer role, but still, like, I was so happy. I had, finally, I had a role where I have lines, <laughs> you know, I, I, I can speak, I can show myself. Everything all right? Yeah, I'm fine. You shouldn't have fed me my lines. I just needed a moment, that's all. I was just trying to help. Listen, I appreciate that, but you focus on your role and I'll focus on mine. Well, I... I have to know the lines I'm... your understudy. Right. You're my understudy. There is a reason why I was chosen as a lead, not you. I... Look, just know your role. After that, I got another role, and it was even bigger than that, because first, it was paid. Second, uh, it was like a six days shoot. So I was on set for six days, and it was also such a great experience. Different locations, different clothes, different makeup, and uh, I've met so many nice people, and like, actors, and um, di like, director, and the crew, it was, uh, like, it was so cool to work with all of them, and I'm grateful that I've got a role in that project. Hi, everyone. I am on the shoot right now on set on the web series. I play Sally, and um, now we have a break. This is what I will wear in the scene. These are not mine, so... Yeah. Very fancy. See you later. On set. Yeah. I'm very excited. I've had like four big scenes there and I'm so excited to see it. And uh, I've got a commercial last week. It was like a medical commercial with a lot of medical terms and I was so pissed because when I was trying to learn it, like I'm not, a, I'm not a native speaker and when you have to learn how to say, er, I don't know, ergothionine or like uh, hyaticus pluvialis is just something that you've never heard of. So I was like, oh, that's crazy. But We've, we've had a teleprompter on set that was really helpful. I, I learned it, but still, like, when you have a teleprompter, you just feel a little bit more confident. Okay, small note from the editing studio here. I forgot to mention about one more commercial, uh, and this is the commercial that the students were doing as well. I was being paid, but it was, like, not the point. I was also collecting the commercials for the demo reel, and it ended up pretty good as well, so I will edit here. Hey, babe. This is the brand I was telling you about. 14th. Look. I got you something. What's that? Hey, open it up. No way. Yeah. Thank you so much. How did I find an agent? The last point that you want to hear. Uh, again, connections. The friend, um, so she's from Ukraine as well. Uh, she, we had the same manager that I was telling you about and she posted something and I reacted to it. Uh, we started to talk and she's like, oh, I, got I found an agent, but I am moving to LA, so I really can work with him. And I'm like, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe you can recommend me. Maybe he's still looking for someone like, because she's a blondie girl as well. And she's like, uh, okay, yeah, um, I can give you his contact. and. She shared his contact with me and also I found their Instagram page and she sent me his website. So I applied on the website and I also texted him separately. And he invited me to the interview. I came to the interview and I think we talked like maybe 40 minutes. We talked about different stuff like acting stuff and um, just my experience and like how the industry is going. And he said that he wanted to take me to the roster. I'm like, wow. Okay, cool. <laughs> when I got a manager, I already started sending applications to different agents. And we have like dancing agents here. We have specifically for film and television and, and all, like, but dancing and acting. So I was uh, applying everywhere and nobody told me that they want me or even they, I wasn't even invited for the interview. So I was like, okay, I will just update my headshots. I will update my acting reel and I will just continue sending you my 
uh, real so they can see that I'm working on myself. And I think I've done it like three rounds. I've sent three different emails with updated reels and updated headshots for the same agencies, but I, again, I didn't get a feedback. So this one was a new agent. He decided, new, he, he was an actor before. This is his new agency. He has never been an agent, but everybody knows him in the industry. And um, yeah, I've heard a lot of great things about him from different actors, and I'm sure that will be really great to work with him. And uh, yeah, my agency is Esprit Artists Agency. The conclusion of this video is to be very, very much proactive all the time. Checking Instagram for castings, checking Facebook, there is like a Facebook group also. Checking all castings and a Vancouver Acting Guide every single day if you really want to get into an acting, like every day. This is literally what I'm doing even right now. Like I have an agent, but I still want to have opportunities be, like, you know, maybe sometimes it's volunteer, sometimes it's like not very well paid, but it's not about payment right now. It's about getting recognized, getting, you know, getting that lines and, and real and yeah, just, just to have more work. So be proactive, act in classes, because on acting classes, you can first meet amazing teachers and actors. Second, again, connections, and they can do coaching for you. If you have like amazing auditions later, they can help you, especially if you don't have an agent yet, like you need a coach in, in terms, if you get like amazing audition. And uh, third one, update your head, like make an amazing headshots. Like, um, if you don't have like a lot of money, just maybe find some photographer that doesn't like take a lot of money, but try to do like a good makeup and, and, and make it the, you know, just act whatever you think is great for you and uh, whatever role you want. But at the end of it, like I've done professional headshots a few months ago and I love it so much. It's much better than I had before and uh, it's worth it. Like I am. You just have so much variety to apply. I have like 10 headshots now and I can choose which one is better for my role. Yeah, of course, update your resume. Like every time you get a role, update your resume. And same with the acting reel. Your acting reel should have different types of personalities and characters there. So for example, I have one is the policeman, second is musician who is like desperate to be seen. And the third one is like comedy. So it's like three different options to see you as an actor. So try to do a variety of different stuff in your acting reel. Yeah, I think that's, that's all I have for today. If you have any questions, just feel free to reach out and ask me whatever. Maybe I missed something. Again, this is my first video about acting. I can tell you how I do my self tapes, maybe how to find a reader. Like, there are so many things to talk about. Whatever you feel is interesting for you, feel free to ask me and I probably will make a separate video about it. I wish you to have the job that you want, uh, the role that you want, and I wish you to have a lot of power and patience to, to work on yourself, to work on your inner emotions, to bring it up, to show, and I wish you to glow and to show what you can do in the acting industry. Subscribe to this channel because I plan to make a lot of videos about acting, about dancing, about maybe my project management journey, but I'm more about like creative stuff now. Thank you so much for watching this video and uh, see you soon. Bye.